Okay, cool. Before you start. Hello, internet. Um, I am making this live video right now um, to share a little bit about this 1111 Advanced Lightwork Immersion Retreat that's coming up in November. Um, so where to start? I am here in New Mexico. I'm wedged between the Zuni and Navajo reservations in this place called Candy Kitchen. It is also home to one of the largest wolf sanctuaries in North America called the Wild Spirit Wolf Sanctuary. And this is where the retreat is going to be located. And um, the main intention and what um, gave me great excitement to run this retreat was thinking about the coming 1111 portal and how these major gateways have really played a huge part in my journey in the past years how they always bring in this really amazing activation energy and this energy can be used and harnessed and embodied and integrated in this amazing way to make visceral uh, massive shift in our experience and in our life and as many of you may know the 1111 it is um, kind of a manifestation portal and it always has this meaning of further awakening and greater alignment for me um, and thinking about uh, the coming year of 2020, I really felt like there are a lot of light workers who feel like uh, we've been sitting on the sidelines and almost like we're in a basketball game and we're on the sidelines and we're waiting for coach to put us in. You know, we um, have read every spiritual book on the planet. We know about the cabal and whatever else. Um, we know about Reiki, we know about the chakras, but um, we haven't really fully dived into a life of service yet. And um, in this um, foreseeing of the energies, I'm noticing that 2020 is bringing in another wave of mass awakening, which means that there's going to be millions of people waking up around the world who are going to be needing our assistance of the light workers and star seeds. So we're people that already have um, maybe heightened sensitivities to energy. Maybe we are people who um, are connected to the dream time and we are empath in a special way. We can really tune into other people's feelings. And um, so we, we're the ones that are feeling like we're here of service. We're here to be of service to help people transition from one state of consciousness to another, from one understanding of reality to another, um, from one way of life to another, right? This is um, being on the team of transition and feeling called to provide um, a platform and an environment um, and the information that maybe um, you are looking for to... Um, really step into a role of service in the year of 2020 and I know that there's a lot of people who are feeling this call because in the last couple of weeks I've received uh, multiple multiple several messages from um, people that are in a similar stage of life again that feeling of being on the sidelines waiting for coach to put us in the game maybe you've been awakened for 20 years but you've been kind of waiting or feeling into when the right time would be to start that healer's business, to start that guidance um, platform for yourself. And so uh, in response to that, I have decided to run this retreat over the 1111 gateway. What I'm going to be sharing with my team is predominantly our energy field. <laughs> Um, and what I mean by that is uh, I have been awakened for seven years now and it has always been a really intense experience. I didn't have one of these subtle awakenings. I had a really abrupt awakening that immediately pummeled me into a life of service. I immediately started good working, living out of my car and traveling all over the world, um, meeting these different uh, elders and teachers from different races and lineages. Um, and so uh, in the beginning of the seven years, I was told that I am completely restructuring my reality and my frequency. And in the beginning of the seven years, I received that I was a starseed or a light worker, meaning I'm somebody that maybe came from a different civilization or has already kind of a um, 
level of consciousness that's able to hold space for this transition on earth right now and so over the past seven years i've gone through a really intense transition of consciousness and frequency to a point that i'm pretty much embodied in my body now is my soul um, my galactic self who is always in connection with um, the universe or this body of wisdom and knowledge pertaining to multi-dimensionality some of you know that my uh, 6D self is a Androm an Andromedan geneticist, meaning that I understand energy and geometries of consciousness percolating down into the 3D from this particularly um, different perspective, that of being a galactic visitor. And I feel that at this point, my embodiment process has um, led me to a place of pretty much being stabilized in this level of consciousness, in this frequency. And so the reason why that I say that this is what we are predominantly sharing is that we are very vibrational beings, right? We're humans. We experience everything in this wavelength frequency kind of way. Um, we call this consciousness or energy or feelings. Um, but this is a really potent way of exchange um, simply because, as you might know of the term mirror, mirror neurons, where if you feel sad and I'm next to you, then I might feel those feelings. If I'm in a state of coherence and multidimensional embodiment, then this is a frequency that your brain is experiencing. And this itself is what allows you to accelerate your process. You're able to receive um, basically all the downloads and activations that I've integrated over this time um, through just this telepathic um, body to body kind of transmission commun communication so this field it's the space of um, completely connected to the galactic and cosmic levels of consciousness while being grounded and embodied so we can actually ground and channel this energy through this is the first and foremost important thing that is being offered at this retreat and of course, that is just the undertone of what is happening consistently, you being in this field and this activating um, and initiating your body into DNA activations and soul embodiment. Um, on top of that, of course, we're offering um, seven really awesome workshops, um, mostly about multidimensional energy healing, which I think is a skill set that is vitally important at this time on earth. And the reason for that is we are all energetic multidimensional beings and the control systems that have been plaguing the earth um, have installed these uh, multidimensional levels of consciousness entrapment. Um, and this is something that we can really go into and study. Um, so I'm really talking about activating our psychic capabilities. My main psychic capability that I am utilizing all the time is what is called psionic redaction, is the ability to project our consciousness into other people's bodies or our own bodies or a collective consciousness aspect or any place on earth. Um, this is the skill that we use when we perform grid work or psychic surgery. And again, this is a skill that is so important to hone right now because we are um, moving out of the false matrix. And that includes... Um, hi, Moana. <laughs> That's a great name. So um, that means... Um, when I look into just anyone, and I've told this story many times, but when I was just waking up, one of my main trainings would be going to a public place like a mall or a subway train and just sitting there for two hours and scanning energies. <laughs> and I would project my consciousness into, you know, the building and people and just reading the energy. And what I would see are these um, systems of implants and a false belief systems that have coagulated into geometries of consciousness and the energy body. Um, and uh, this is a embodied level of um, expressing our creatorship, our divine um, godliness that is able to correct and recreate geometries of time space, also known as the energy fields um, or the reality. And so this is 
Um, the workshops that are presented include differentiating between um, different frequencies of mind control in plants, entities, fragments, and how um, through using different brainwave states and energy frequencies, we can heal and clear these discordant, um, not only in ourself predominantly, but also in our family and maybe our clients and places on the earth, which is what we're calling grid work. I'm going to be covering a, a multi-dimensional perspective of grid work workshop where we're talking about the two main levels of grid work that I personally partake in all the time. The first one being planetary energy and the second one being collective human unconscious, which is really a cesspool of energy, as many of you might know. You know, we can kind of um, avoid all that for many years in our spiritual awakening by chasing the bliss and going to the light. But at some point, we're so saturated with light and we go to our higher self and we're like, why did I do this? Why do I have so much light? And the higher self is like, well, child, we're heading that way down into the cesspool of collective unconscious or all of the stuff that we see in mainstream media um, and even the disclosure that's coming up, you know, is so entertaining. Like, oh my god, there are aliens and blah 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 and there are child molesters and the, uh, the Lee family's in on it and, you know, at the end of the day, as a light worker who's coming into empowerment of our creator self, all we have to do is close our eyes and go inside because it's all there. We are a oneness, not just as a concept, but literally as a consciousness, as a energy system. We are an ecosystem here on this planet. And so we don't have to go out there and chase the boogies. All we have to do is learn how we can go inside and um, clear and restructure collective consciousness in that way. And we can really bring in some beautiful gifts for humanity in this way, right? Um, you know, if a if we can access um, this psychic network of consciousness that everyone is a part of, um, this is a level of grid work that is really exciting. You find all sorts of stuff in there. Could be really entertaining at times. So uh, these workshops of advanced light work is a big part of this retreat. I'm really intending for everyone to receive the download and the geometry of how this work is done. Obviously, it takes time and experience for you to unpack all of that, but I think they're going to be recorded, and you're going to get to keep them. And I basically share with you the entire download um, of how I do this work, um, and you're going to be able to really step into that level of light work in 2020 with these tools and this knowledge. And so, of course, um, uh, we have been, I'm going to tell the story real quick, of how I ended up in New Mexico. It's a very, very interesting place. My Andromedan star family actually left me this land, um, and it happened through an extraordinary synchronicity where this man named Stuart, he told people that he's from Andromeda, and he purchased this land, you know, almost a decade ago. And he had intended to retire here to write his channeling books and everything. But um, instead of being able to do that, he ended up uh, getting cancer and he died in March of 2013. Which was exactly the month that I woke up and started communicating with my own Andromedan team. And they told me that, you know, I was from Andromeda, that I'm a geneticist there and this is part of my starseed mission. And so it wasn't until in 2015, through a grand synchronicity, when I came into this land. And when I came here, the land steward was like, oh my god, you're the little Chinese girl. Because when Stu died in 2013, he told his team that he was going to come back as an Andromedan little Chinese girl who was going to keep working on this land and inherit his project. And um, I think it freaked everybody out because we had the same kind of frequency of consciousness and we would talk about the same things in the same ways we have the same perception of things and so it was kind of like this prophecy and um, once I got here for a visit that 2015 I was thinking you know what could possibly be here that I would get this piece of land in that kind of way you know it's kind of extraordinary to just receive land from a person that I didn't even meet who died two years before I even got here. 
And so um, since moving here full time about two months ago, I've been slowly communicating with this land and the area. And what I'm being shown is that we're actually establishing a new stargate here. And there is a sacred site close by that we're going to visit during our retreat. Um, and we're going to be able to have this experiential grid work um, ceremony together where we're out on Gaia and we're uh, using the tools that we have freshly learned during the week and we're going to put it in action and uh, start to weave those skills right into a Stargate. And so this, um, I think, is an amazing opportunity because the energies that are coming in from the Stargate are... Um, kind of fresh <laughs> i'd say that uh, this level of energy hasn't reached the earth yet of course this is a common thing now in 2019 that unprecedented levels of light and consciousness are flooding the earth and this is one such nexus that this is happening um, another very cool thing about this retreat is that it's going to be happening at the wild spirit wolf sanctuary um, which is about two miles away from my land and it is one of the largest wolf sanctuaries in the country um, housing I think 70 wolf beings and uh, a very spiritual man runs this place and the retreat is located on uh, the premise so he of course studied for many years with the wolf clan the indigenous tribe and He's just shared a lot of stories about how, how the wolf people are the teacher of humanity. And we're going to go and visit these beings. I won't, you know, I went to visit them, I think maybe a, a week ago now. And the majesty and wisdom that is emanating from them is palpable. Um, and you really get the sense of what community and family and oneness and working together, all of these very important codes um, or traits that are being magnified at this time as we step into deeper service to humanity. So flex over here so you can just let us know what kind of food you eat. Um, it is only um, eleven, eleven dollars right now. If you like to sign up before October seventh, um, it is a six-day retreat, and I think we'll provide um, a shuttle service from Albuquerque if you're coming from anywhere that is not New Mexico and you have to fly. Um, and so, yeah, if anyone has any questions, please just write me a message. I would love to accommodate them. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else that I want to uh, share about this right now. Um, yeah, again, if you are somebody who has been really, really desiring to step into service, I really don't think that there is a better way to be of service to humanity at this time you know, me and my team here, we talk a lot about personal responsibility. Um, and what that means is that we're no longer um, engrossed in this dimensions of disclosure thing where we're like, oh, look at all the stuff outside of me. You know, these aliens and these celebrities and these elite families and that and this and this and that. Um, but really coming back to this knowing you know everybody is saying all is one all is self but these are kind of just mental concepts until we really step in and expand our consciousness to a place where we really truly recognize that the whole universe and all of creation is inside of us and that you know when we see something like oh here is uh, a child abduction can we go inside and see, you know, maybe we have been abandoning our own inner children. And um, this really understanding that until we come into a place of wholeness, into a place of peace and balance and divinity in every cell of our body, that can't possibly exist outside of us, right? You know, as above, so below, as within, so without. So this retreat is really inviting you 
to step into this portal that we're creating together. This portal that's created on the intention that we are stepping powerfully into an embodiment of a higher frequency of ourself, our higher self embodied, that we're not looking outside of ourselves for guidance, for answers, but really um, so tuning into our own soul's frequency that um, we are connected to that all knowingness at all times. And um, through these practices, oh yeah, we're going to be doing morning practice for two hours every day. And that itself is going to move you into a different dimension, I guarantee it. Um, because the practices that we'll be sharing are our favorites over the last seven years of exploration, all designed to help you, um, what did I say, boogies out, clarity in, or something. <laughs> so... Two hours of morning practice and two workshops every day. We'll be doing ceremony at night where we gather together. Some of them will be sound healing ceremonies, drum circles, sky watch where we communicate with our star beings even though I prefer to uh, sky watch inside <laughs> because that's where the interdimensional beings are and most of them do not travel in metal spaceships. <laughs> but sometimes they materialize in the sky so we will do that sometimes. <laughs> Um, but yeah, and of course it'll be with family. And again, the ceremonial space is probably the most valuable thing you're going to get because we're literally shifting the frequency of your cells over the six days. And the information, of course, is for your mental mind and your intelligence to gain understanding and tools. But ultimately, the most important and most valuable thing you're going to get is being immersed in this magical stargate. Um, and in the frequency of our team. Um, and we're really intending to create this portal for each other to blast us through to a higher uh, frequency embodiment of ourself so that we're prepared for our uh, deeper level of service in 2020. So I'm very excited and I hope to see some of you there. And if you have any questions, please reach out. Um, Facebook is currently censoring my website, so if you'd like to find out more information about the retreat, go to www.earthstar.tk slash Jedi dash train, je Jedi tra training. Yes, <laughs> I'll put the link um, with spaces in between the dots, so you gotta take out the spaces and copy it into your browser because I'm being censored. That means I'm doing something right, I guess. I'm flattered. <laughs> How are you guys doing? I see eight people hanging out with us. Um, if you have any questions, I'd love to answer them. 